Assalamu alaikum wa taqabbalallah siyamakum wa amalakum The month of Ramadan is the month of love, the month of Salah, the month of forgiveness, the month of Quran, and the month of charity. As you guys know, the month of the holy month of Ramadan is coming to an end. And I just want to go over everything I said over the past few times that I've came here and I talk. So you guys can use them for the upcoming Ramadan, inshallah, if you guys love Allah to Ramadan. So I just want to say for the coming Ramadan, just uh, have so on the like uh, do your wajbat, and if you have time, do your mustahabat, such as salat al reading Quran, reading dua, giving sadaqah, reading, like doing charity, doing as much as you can. But of course, do your wish bed first, like uh, praying the five prayers. Uh, another thing I want to speak about is reading Quran. There's an ayah that states reading one ayah of the Quran during Shah Ramadan is like reading the whole Quran. So if you read, there's 6,236 ayahs in the Holy Quran. So if you often the Quran in the Holy Month of Ramadan, it's like you read the Quran 6,200 times. Another thing I want to talk about is how like people try to get rid of bad habits during Shah Ramadan. But a really bad habit I see that a lot of people don't try getting rid of is the disrespect they have towards their parents. I just want to say there's a, a hadith that states by the Prophet Muhammad. He states, if you get your parents mad, you've made Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mad. If you get your parents happy, you've made Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy. If you get your, if you get Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala angry, you get your parents angry. What this holy hadith means is pretty much treat your parents like you would treat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have the same emotions. And your parents urge for you to do good. It's not like they're out for you. They want you to do bad. Your parents urge for you to do good. Also, uh, something that occurs in the Shah Ramadan, they stay the same. So in Laylatul Adil, you go to the mosque for three days. There are three separate days. And you go, you pray, you read du'a, you read Quran, you do religious acts. You stay to the mosque. And you pretty much you just increase your thought when you increase your amount. And in all these acts that you're doing, the the prayer, the giving sada, uh, the reading Quran, the fasting, you're getting closer with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and like you're increasing your taqwa with everything you do in Shah Ramadan. And like if you're just gonna go into Shah Ramadan good, but leave Shah Ramadan on a bad note, like you go into Shah Ramadan praying, reading Quran, reading Dua, but you're gonna leave Shah Ramadan not praying, not reading Dua, not doing anything good. There's honestly there's no point in anything you did. You you wanna go into Shah Ramadan good, you wanna leave Shah Ramadan good. And you don't only want to do the religious acts in Shah Ramadan. So if you go to Shah Ramadan praying, you want to leave praying. And you want to go into the other months praying fast. You don't only want to do it in Shah Ramadan. Because if you're only doing it in Shah Ramadan, you just wasted 30 days of your life just praying and fasting. All for nothing because you're just going to put on top of those good deeds. You're going to put bad deeds. There's a hadith that states in Shah Ramadan, the gates of paradise are wide open and the gates of hell are closed. What this hadith means is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps all the bad deeds on the side for you, keeps the good deeds for you, and at the end of the month, if you did good, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remove all those bad deeds, and all the bad deeds will turn into good deeds. So just do good in the month of Ramadan, and inshallah, you guys won't have any bad deeds. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. اللهم كل وليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى أبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك طوعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين صلى الله على سيدنا محمد على أهل بيت الطيب